Yep, that's me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Serena, as you can tell from the intro. That's so Rena, get it? It's my name, kind of corny, but that's me. I'm going to be making B-Love sauce today. I just got out of work and I was like, I really, really, really want to see food boil. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, don't look at that. <laughs> I'm a responsible adult kid. Okay. Right now I'm boiling eggs. I only made four because it started to overflow and I started getting nervous. So yeah. Anyways, here I got the butter, the packet, the vinegar, the pickled ginger, the chicken broth, onion, garlic, and Coca-Cola. We're gonna do it and we're gonna do it right. I'm only doing it for me. I don't know why I have this big old pot. Probably so that I can save some and keep eating it with other things like everybody else does. Then I couldn't find the big, big shrimp. Well, I found some, but they were trying to charge me $17 for only like 10 of them at Kroger. And that was the last one. He was like, we get the truck um probably in two days and this other guy was like you need to get the truck every day i'm like dude all this quarantine stuff and nobody got time for that period so i just went and got the raw shrimp extra large i got two bags and yes i'm gonna eat them all by myself so yeah so i guess i'm i was gonna i'm just gonna make half of i'm just gonna make half of the um sauce and save the rest i don't know because when I was watching like how much comes out when she makes like a batch, I'm like, that's a lot of sauce. And I guess I could freeze it after. Yeah, I'll probably just freeze it after, so yeah. Make sure y'all wash your hands because it's <laughs> coronavirus is going around. And well, the first thing I'm gonna cut up is these, um, the ginger. I don't know how this even smells. I can't even open the thing. So this is how it looks. I wonder what this stuff smells like. Hmm. Hmm. I'm enjoying some though. Should I make the whole jar? I don't know. Like, just eyeball it, you know. Maybe I should have waited to make the, um, eggs. This stuff smells weird. All right, so here's how my plate looks. I um, I'm gonna just go ahead and start cutting up the onion too. Just go ahead and have everything chopped up. I went ahead and fast forwarded during the cutting of the onions. Majority of my viewers, y'all are grown, y'all know how to cut onions. I like to taste my onions like when I eat like crunch. So I didn't mince them. I just made, I just sliced them. So this is what we got going on here: the ginger and the onions. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the oven. I mean the stove. Put it on like four. Now on this it says four sticks, but I don't think I'm gonna make the whole thing. So I'm only gonna put two sticks of butter in there. First one. Oh. One. melting fast y'all yes sir eggs going in the back y'all i didn't forget i got a timer set for 25 minutes because i always mess up when it comes to boiling the eggs so don't come for me so while i wait for this butter to melt i'm gonna go ahead and add in the chicken broth pretty much to help the butter break down a little faster now on the package it says one cup of chicken broth. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, as I said before. Right now, 
with just the broth and the butter. Yes, sir. Let me get a spoon out of here so I can start stirring it up some. Ooh, it's a lot of butter. All right, so boom. Now that the butter and the chicken broth are all melted down, nice and simmered, I had to turn up the um, I had to turn up the temperature because I just realized I had it on low this entire time. I put it on six. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add everything else in. You know, go ahead and put that guy in there. Dump it all in, sis. That's what we're here for? Put on a show. Get nasty. This is what we're looking with with the butter and the ginger and the onions and the chicken broth. I'm gonna add the vinegar now and then I'm gonna add this the packet. When it all gets hot, then I'm gonna add the coke. Alright, now the part we've all been waiting for. We need to open the sauce packet. I can smell the spices already. All right, here we go. Pop of the bag we're doing. So when it's here. It looks weird when you pour the coke in. <laughs> Let me stir it up. can't wait to taste it it smells so good y'all so now i'm gonna go ahead and make the shrimp for you guys and then well not for you guys for me <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and make my shrimp and then i'll be back when i finally taste the sauce i'm not gonna taste it it looks very tempting i can't wait to taste it i'll be back when the shrimp is done all right y'all so we're in my studio room I don't have a dining room table yet, so this is what we're gonna have to deal with. I just have two bins. It doesn't matter. I'm ready to eat. So let's see if I like it. I'm gonna try it with an egg first. Oh, I'm so nervous. Wow. Wow. I can't even explain what it tastes like. Cause it's, oh, my head is like half cut out. Hold on. Y'all, I can't even explain to y'all what this tastes like. It's just so good. I'm just gonna drench the shrimp in the sauce. I'm sucking out like that. I've seen um, the Batty Twins eating it with B Love on her channel, and he was doing. He was like, "I just gotta submerge it and suck it off first. And I was like, "He's doing the most." Y'all know he always does a lot, but. No, he's not doing a lot. It's really, it's that. I'm going to have to learn how to do it without the packet. But for this to be spicy, it's really not that spicy. I wonder what the mild tastes like. If y'all tried the mild before, let me know in the comment section if it's like sweet. But this has kind of a sweet taste to it because it has that Coca-Cola in it. Mm-hmm. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Was that too much? <laughs> Make sure y'all get all this good stuff when you scoop. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Mm. I can't even imagine what it would taste like with crab legs, y'all. I don't even have any words to say. I'm sorry to y'all when I'm done, I guess. I don't know if it's the amount of ginger or the amount of Coke I put in here, but it's way sweeter than I imagined. Like, mm -hmm. I think I want to do a comparison of the Be Love sauce and the Juicy Crab sauce. Hmm. I think that'll be interesting. But thank you guys for all your support and all your comments. And hey to all my new subscribers. Um, we're on the road to 400. I think we're at 326, I believe, by the time this video goes up. So we're trying to get to 400. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Click the two videos on the side of the screen if you would like to watch more content from me. But yeah, bye guys.